Today's video, we're going to add a bunch of really cool parts to a cheap Chinese motor. First, let's change out the CDI, which is this, and the carburetor. Okay, so just so real quick, here's the original carburetor. It's kind of cool. It's got like this little, almost has its own little, like, it's like a face. It's like a little skull face. But this is the new high performance carburetor. Just the air intake alone looks amazing on this thing. I don't know if it's going to fit my bike. Will it fit this bike? I don't know how I'm going to make this fit, but we're going to figure out a way. This thing has like automatic choke. Like, this is it's a good carburetor. Okay, here we go. So, new carburetor is on, exhaust is mm, it, it, 90% installed. Uh, I fired it up already. It's pretty good. I'm surprised. So I did have to work a tiny bit with the uh, the uh, throttle cable. Had to shorten the housing to make it to where it would work for this, but this thing idles amazing. Here we go. Fire it up for you. New carburetor went on without a without a without a hitch. It was very easy to put on. This carburetor, I'm not even sure what the model on it is. It's a better carburetor than what I had. I mean, I originally went from one of these to well this now in the image above me. Any all this stuff, there's links down below uh, that take you to. They are affiliate links, so they help provide a little bit of money for the channel. But it, there's links for everything. If you're interested in getting any of this for yourself, there are links down below to help you get this stuff as well. So next, we're going to replace the CDI. And you know, you might be wondering, what the heck is a CDI? Well, <clears throat> a CDI is responsible for... I turned on Siri. Sorry, I didn't quite... A CDI is responsible for generating spark. It's connected to the spark plug, kill switch, and magneto loop, which transfers energy generated by the magneto magnet to the spark plug. I mean, basically, to put it simple, it makes the boom boom so you can go vroom vroom. So without this, no boom boom, no vroom vroom. Make sense? Okay. This really isn't even that hard of a swap. I'm going to take this CDI unit that came. This is off of a cheap Chinese unit. I'm going to replace it for this, which is probably still a cheap Chinese unit. I think this was like... I don't know, less than 20 bucks. Maybe again, link down below if you want to get one. This was a lot cheap. Th this one was a lot cheaper. So, in theory, it should be better. I've also got a better car uh, carburetor. I already did the carburetor. Also, have a better spark plug that I think I might swap out as well. But it's a real simple swap. <laughs> Hopefully I'm remembering this right. When hooking these up, it's pretty simple. Your black goes to black. Your other black, shoot, now I don't know. Your white you don't need. Blue goes to red. Okay, I think I got this right. Black goes to black. Blue goes to red. I'm not sure. I need to double check this. So after much research, the way you hook these up. So when they come out of the engine, you have three wires coming from your magneto. As you can see here. Your blue and your black are really the only two you're going to use. Your white wire 
is uh, like an auxiliary wire. Holds like 1.5 volts or something like that. The best thing to do with that is just tuck it right back in the sleeving. Make sure it's not touching metal and just leave it. Then it's pretty simple to hook them up. Your black goes to black. Normally this will be blue. It goes to blue. In my case it's red to blue, black to black. And then to hook the kill switch up, you also have a black and a green, which believe it or not, the green is not a ground. It kind of is, but not really. And maybe if I'm wrong, please correct me. Green, sometimes it'll be orange, white, whatever it is. The lighter color goes in with the blue, and then the black goes to black. That's it. They're not crazy complicated to hook up. So, I think we're going to swap out the spark plug real quick, and then may have enough daylight to fire it up after that. Okay, so here it is. It's now dark, <laughs> so I'm not going to get a very good ride in, but I will get a fire, uh, a start up, and hopefully a quick little ride. amazed my shoes untied honestly I am amazed the difference that these one two three four upgrades have made so if you didn't see the last video uh, link down below or actually it'll be at the end of this video too but I replaced the exhaust on this bike put a brand new carburetor on it like a better performance carburetor I changed the CDI today and the spark plug and just those four little things to me I could definitely notice a difference in the performance of the bike now it still might not be super fast it's also oh granola bar in my pocket love when that happens it still might not be super fast but I mean let's face it a two-stroke motor with my fat butt on it it's never gonna be super fast <clears throat> the plan was to Change out the four things. Actually, there's going to be three, and I ended up doing four. So we did the exhaust, we did the carburetor, did the CDI, and now the spark plug. So the plan was to change those four things, and then after I completed that, I was going to take it for a ride. It got dark on me. I was only able to ride up and down my road a couple times, but that little bit, I could tell it was doing a lot better. It's still doing, like, if you listen here, it's still doing like this, I don't know if it's fourth stroking or what, but I need to take it out for a longer ride. I also noticed this issue uh, when I was riding just now. This is my Springer front end that I love. Look how far off that is. I don't know what's going on, but it should not be doing this. The whole thing is just off somehow. But like everything else on this bike, the Springer front end, uh, it's down here in the floor if you wanted to know, it's right there. Everything else on that bike except for the motor, uh, well, everything, yeah, everything's been cheap off of it. The Springer front end, <laughs> totally spit when I said that. I paid 30 bucks for, it's old. It's probably just wore out. So, I have an idea. Currently, the only brakes on this bike are the, uh, the coaster brake. That's it. I tried to put a front brake on, it's in a previous video. It didn't work. It's just not, not ideal for this bike. So, with the Springer being messed up, I had this idea. Where is it? I don't know if it'll fit, but I have this. This bomb, bomber, yeah, bomber, 
it's not even air, I think it's spring loaded. Uh, front suspension fork for, actually came off my first mountain bike, but it's still really good. It has an option for disc brakes, so I could add a disc brake to the front, and I have front brakes, which I think will make this a lot better. That's gonna be a different video though. So I'm gonna hang this back up here. Hold on, let me get up close and personal with you. But that will be a different video, probably later down the road. Uh, if you liked any of these upgrades, check them out. Links for all of them are down below, as well as a link to our new sponsor. Well, they're not really a sponsor, but partner. We're now partnering, or I don't know why I'm saying we. I am now partnering with BikeBerry.com. That's where that motor came from. And all these parts, actually. Thanks, BikeBerry. I don't know if you've used them. I haven't been disappointed with anything that I've got for them so far. So, with that being said, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like button. Don't forget, there's links down below for everything. I might make stickers one day, all this other stuff. Maybe I can make vests. We could all have vests like this. So they say, like, I don't know. Motorized Bike Club? I don't, I, I don't know. Make sure if you're new, you subscribe and tune in next week. I don't know if we're going to be putting this on or if I'll be doing the new front fork for that bike. I don't know. We'll find something else to do. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next Friday. Is that right? Yeah, next Friday. I wonder if I should do a giveaway for this.